What is good, everybody? Today is another great day for a tutorial. But before we do that, we are going to barbecue. Bolo! Yes, the fam wanted me to get on that grill, which I'm doing right now. And I am going to barbecue something really good. We got steaks, we got lobsters, we got hamburgers. Well, actually, turkey burgers, turkey hot dogs. We have all the liquor. Everything is going to be a good day to day. Another thing is I'm filming this entirely on the iPhone 8 Plus using my Xeron, Zion, Zyron, whatever smooth for a gimbal. I want to just see how it comes out rather than using my cameras. As for the tutorial, I'm going to put the guy who asked the question somewhere on the screen. He wanted to basically know how to manipulate 808s using the ES24 sample inside of Logic. We're definitely going to get into that. I'm going to show you how to manipulate bases in that. And uh, we're going to have a great day today. Let's barbecue and let's learn something new. So let's go. Got the grill going. Got the grill masters on the feet. Let's go. All right, enough of the shenanigans. Let's get to the tutorial. This is gonna be a quick tutorial. Um, I'm not gonna show you how I put the bass into the ES24 sampler because this should already be known and I already have videos doing that. So I'm just gonna show you how to go in and to manipulate the bass in the ES24 sampler. So um, I have a bass pulled up right here, which everybody knows that you cannot use like the 32-bit or the, uh, I think you can use 24, but it's been so long, but you cannot use high bit resolutions inside of the ES24 sampler. So this is an old kit I did years ago. And basically I have a bass already in here. Um, as you can see, when I go to edit, basically what you do is you go into your folder, slide in the sound, you drag the points of the sound to go all the way across the keyboard. And then from there, you wanna hit one shot and basically that makes it stretch. It makes the sound decay all the way. If you don't have one shot on, it's gonna do this as soon as you let go of the button. And you're gonna to have to hold the button for so you can hold the decay and when you let go to decay it stops. So if I hold it and as soon as I let it go, the decay stops. So that's something really cool. So I like to leave it on one shot. So that's cool. First thing you wanna do in here is voices. Um, this one's set to poly. You wanna set it to mono or you can leave it on poly and turn the voices down to one. But we'll just do both. Now, another good thing in here is you have a tuner. You can tune your basses to, sometimes you have basses that are out of key. You can just tune them like that. Um, you have a glide. Okay, cool. Also, with this, you have your level. You can turn this all the way up so it hits at maximum level. Another thing that you have with the bass is you have a drive, resonance, all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that on. Then we're gonna turn on the fat. And when I hit the bass, and I turn the drive up, crazy you can manipulate the bass like that as well um you have a high pass low pass and then you have a band pass on here as well which that should be something that everybody kind of knows um and basically you have you know your tuner you have your transpose you have all that good stuff inside of the es24 sampler now you have an envelope and all of this good stuff um It's kind of, you don't really necessarily need it 
for the ES24 sampler, especially on basses, because you can basically do everything from basically this top level right here to get the sound that you want inside of the ES24 um, sampler. The main thing is the resonance, uh, uh, resonance and the key and the drive and the cutoff, and of course the tune, the glide, um, the pitcher, um, basically that stuff right there is more than enough to control your bass. The main thing is when you're using basses is make sure it's either on mono or the voices are down to one. You can use legato as well, but that's more or less like another glide. And I just recommend everybody just kind of just use the glide. You can use the different glides to make it sound more of a legato feel. Um, so that's basically it. It's really not much to really do, but um, that's how you can manipulate your basses inside of the ES24 sampler. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my home life. And also a quick side note, I am recording this strictly on my iPhone 8 Plus with my Zeron, Zero, whatever, Smooth 4 Crane. And I'm actually editing all this inside of LumaTouch in my iPad. So everything is being done on everything else but my computer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some of this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Please turn on those post notifications and please comment. And like I always say, peace out.